What is up, people? What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A. Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. We have another property tour for you today. We're actually going to see the single family home by DRB Homes. They have a model over here in Ashburn. And on tomorrow's video, or whenever this airs, the next video will be of the townhouse that they also have um, available in this area. What I want to do first, because usually we look at the property, we talk about it a little, a little bit, and then we go inside, right? Well, I want to show you this great location. This location is so ideal for individuals who are active, right? So we have Carolina Brothers uh, Barbecue right there, one of the top rated restaurants in this area. We have a new hibachi restaurant going in right here, Yum Yum Hibachi. But the biggest attraction here that you've probably all have heard of is the WOND Trail. You can kind of see the signs, the little cross the little yellow signs right there is right there. So quick access to WOND Trail. This house is super convenient. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like the fact that you have a five bedroom property under a million dollars in Ashburn. That's actually close to things within walking distance to several attractions. This is where to live in Northern Virginia. You're, we're your real estate YouTubers for the area. We cover three topics. We talk about Northern Virginia. We do some research pieces about different communities. We talk about what it's like living in the area. And then we bring you the new construction content because so many of our clients are looking for new construction pieces and we wanted to do these video tours for you so we can get inside them, right? The pictures online just don't do these properties justice. And then I'm like your, your host. This is almost how, it's, how it is when we go see properties in person. It's a, it's a very uh, entertaining process. We learn a lot and we uh, we secure some properties. So we're gonna go take a look at this property here. If you are ready to start your real estate journey, whether that's to buy a home, sell a home, invest in real estate, or build a new home, there's a link below in the description to the Perfect Home Questionnaire. Complete that form and we'll schedule a time to meet via Zoom to answer any and all of your real estate questions. If you like these types of videos, let us know by liking the video, commenting down below, what do you like about the design in here? This is gonna be our first time seeing this interior decorated. So this is a, a, a smaller builder compared to some of the other properties we've been seeing. So we're gonna see a little bit more of a personal touch when it comes to the design here because they've most likely used a local interior designer. Uh, so let us know what you think about those designs. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Like the channel, like the video. It doesn't cost you anything. Do us a favor, show your support, and let's get into this property. Uh, but before we go in uh, to the property, let's just cover the fact that we have ourselves a, a rear, oh, not a rear loading garage. Uh, we have a front loading garage and we have what a, what's going to be future future home sites here, right? So you do have the, the luxury of coming in from the main street and driving straight into your property. There is going to be a, um, there's going to be a driving tour. So you'll see some of the other uh, home sites. So there's this plot of land over here that they're developing and then across the street, which we'll see on the video. So you can see um, just where, where these properties are going to be located at, right? All right, so let's get inside. Let's get inside. All right, all right. So as soon as we walk in, uh, we, are, we have a decision to make, right? We can either go in front of us to the living space. There's also a, a corner here to your far left where we can go into the basement uh, area. So we're going to work our way from left to right in this property. We'll work our way through the main living area first. Then we'll go up to the bedroom level, up to the loft, 
and then we'll come all the way down to the basement level to wrap up this tour right so let's go to our left first so we have our coat closet for this main living area right i love the the windows the window placement in this unit is going to be a little bit different than what we've seen on other videos and then we have the stairs to the basement i also like the fact that the stairs are kind of um away from the living space so it kind of opens up this entire space for you just to entertain now we have your foyer area as soon as you walk in so i like that you have either an opportunity to put some uh, furniture or a piece of artwork on this wall here you also have this wall here to also add a little focal piece you have a little table like they've they've staged the place as well so as soon as we walk in we have an open layout so we have our living space we have our dining room space and then we have our kitchen space I love hooded vent over the stoves just Dis dislike microwaves as you all know from my previous videos and this builder has done it so let's just take a look at this space We have our TV wall right there. What's nice about this room is that it's large enough to have some of that, those pieces of furniture that you see online and you wonder to yourself, like who has a room that size? This, this place has a room just big enough for those pieces. Also in your dining room, I could definitely see us putting an eight top right here. So because of the, the length of the room, we could definitely get eight seater here and we have our kitchen. The kitchen island has, looks to be a little counter height, and we have a little storage underneath. Plenty of cabinet space. I love what they've done by having this window on this opposite wall here, so you'll get a lot of natural light coming into the kitchen area. We have our microwave with our wall oven full-size refrigerator and let's take a look at our sink view so while you're washing dishes we got our TV on the wall right there you can watch TV we have our guests right there we have the kids doing their homework everybody's in full view full view of everything right all right so next up is there is a door right here that we access and we actually go off this door onto the street and then we can go to Carolina Brothers for some delicious barbecue. Now, when you come into space, you see we have the stairs up to the bedroom level. There is a doorway here. This little hallway gives us three options. So to the left here, we have our pantry, a nice step-in pantry. Plenty of space for all your Costco orders. And as soon as you come through the door right here, this is the door to the garage. So just imagine you have the car fully of Costco stuff and then you go plop it right there in the pantry. Nice two car garage, nice ceiling height too. So what we're gonna be able to do in this space is we're gonna be able to get ourselves some additional storage. Back yonder, I know you've seen it on home, in Home Depot. You can put the little storage cage up there so you could really increase the storage capacity of this garage. There are three steps up out of the garage. And then we have the powder room for this, this level. Now, this little space here, you're probably wondering, what is this space here? Is this, is this a, Waste of space? No, this is actually a mud room, right? So you'll get yourself one of those seat with the um, the little uh, hooks, right? And you put all your your um, your coats and stuff right there. So that that is where this goes. And also, sometimes the builders don't make this space large enough for the seat, but this is this is a great size. All right, 
let's go up to the bedroom level. So we have 16 steps to the bedroom level. And then working our way from left to right. So we have our guest bedrooms down this hallway. We have the guest bathroom. Guest bathroom is one of my favorite designs because you have the toilet closet and the bathtub in the same room. So you could have two people getting ready at the same time. Then we have the laundry room, linen closet, and we have the owner's suite. Let's check out this window view here. Now, this view is gonna be different, of course, if you bought the model, but it's nice to, they've done a good job with the casings for the windows. All right, so let's work our way from left to right, and then we'll, we'll go upstairs. So. Around this corner, we have our hallway to, or we have the stairs up to the loft area and your potential fifth bedroom. This is guest bedroom number one. So guest bedroom number one has a sizable walk-in closet. You're in this corner nook area here. So now there, there will be a door right here. So there is a lot of natural light coming in here. So I don't want you to be caught off guard if you're looking at your unit and you realize it's a little darker right here. That's because there's usually a door right here, your closet door. Closet door is a walk in the closet for your guest bedroom number one. And as you can see, we have what appears to be a full size bed, small nightstand, and you have this nice wall right here for your larger dresser, similar to the way, similar to the way they have it staged. Since this is at the the back left hand corner of the the property, we have corner windows, right? and we have Carolina Brothers again. Carolina Brothers is not sponsoring this video. They could, they could, they could, but I guess they don't need it because they're they already have a great reputation in the community. All right, so that's guest bedroom number one. Now it's time to go into guest bedroom number two. This is going to be on the back right hand corner of the property here this room is a little bit wider as you can see you have a full-size bed again but you have two nightstands you have your access to your closet there again since it's a corner bedroom you have plenty of natural light uh, in here this unit will provide you with i don't know if it's the sun sets or rises over here but plenty of beautiful starts or ends to your day and then one thing I like about what DRB has done with this model is they have really done a great job with the closet space for your guest bedrooms look at this this is another walk-in closet now this this walk-in closet is larger than the other one but it's still a great size right look at the size of this this closet is going to promote some bad shopping habits. All right, so the first room out of the bedrooms is gonna be that bathroom I was telling you about. So this bathroom has a double vanity. I like that there's a little space right here for your laundry basket already. You have a nice little wall right there in case you wanna put a, some additional storage. And then you have that toilet closet with the, with the tub and it's a, the second tub in this uh, this development too, this uh, model. So surprisingly, we have two tubs. There's like a war against tubs right now. Everybody's taking tubs out of everything. Sometimes I like to soak in my own dirt. All right, so we have our linen closet for the, the guest bedroom, and then we have the laundry room. Laundry room has is wide enough for two side-by-sides uh, right there against that, that wall and you have your little wash basin and some storage and a, and a window. Love when they put windows in here because you can make sure that your white stay white and your colored clothes stay colored. And then we have our linen closet and then we're 
kind of right back where we began on this level. And now we're going into the owner's suite. So without the doors, it's kind of hard to imagine, but they, they will have two doors here that will most likely swing, swing that way. And then they've done a great job with the framing here. If you notice the two windows provide you a great little place to pop your bed right in the center there. You got sizable nightstands uh, in this space. Looks like we have a king size bed. And you still have plenty of space for additional furnishing. You probably put your TV, if your TV in your bedroom people, put your TV on that wall over there. And you have these gorgeous windows off to the front. Let's get ourselves a window shot. And look, you still have a, a large wall for some additional artwork, or you can put one of those full length mirrors that they sell at Home Goods. And everybody's wondering, like, where do you put it, right? Also, how do you get it from Home Goods to your house? Um, so we have two closets. We have the walk in closet for the person who has the shopping habit. And then we have the conservative closet for the person who talks about the person with the shopping habit. Now we're going into what I think is a surprise. Look at that, another tub. So we have a soaking tub with a double shower, a walk-in shower. We have your toilet closet right there. No electrical outlet, so we can't get ourselves a heated bidet. And we have a double vanity, right? Double vanity, plenty of counter space, plenty of cabinet space. I want to show you something in this walk-in shower though. Okay, so sometimes we have a walk-in shower where these two shower heads are too close. They're too close, right? Um, sometimes they're so far away, you're like, what is going on? The, I think that this position is the best position and you have a little seat over here. Look, we still have a little shower seat. There we go. I like this towel, nice towel. All right, now we're gonna go upstairs to the loft space, okay? Let's go take a look at that loft space. That's gonna be your, either you can count it as your fourth or your fifth bedroom. All right, all right, let's go upstairs. One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's a little landing. Sixteen. And then we're in the loft, right? Now some lofts have this this ceiling issue where there's not enough ceiling height to really do any much with the space. But with this loft, it actually opens up. Look at that, it opens up quite nicely. You could definitely fit a bed in here, or you can do what they have it staged as, is a little game room area. I can see a TV on that wall right there. Similar, similar sectional sofa. And we got ourselves a little bit more of an elevated view, right? And we have some wallpaper. You all know I love wallpaper. I, I love, I'm a fan of wallpaper. I am. Oh, I'm, I'm kidding. That's not what the bedroom is. Oh, here we go. Here's the bedroom. I know you all were saying, Abraham must have lost his mind. Who's gonna put a bedroom in an open room, open space? No one. All right, so now we're in the fourth bedroom, right? So this is in the loft area. This is off of that game room section. And as you can see, I think this is probably a full-size bed. We have two nightstands here. I love these lights. Great job with these lights. These lamps, gorgeous lamps. Um, this cool little wallpaper there as well. Interesting, yeah, wallpaper all over the place. 
All right, so nice size room for a fourth uh, bedroom here. And look at the closet space, All right? Look at the closet space. Double door closet. So kids game room or your uh, your 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 human cave here or the um, the movie room. There's a, there's a lot of opportunities here, and we still have a full basement. We have a full basement we haven't even seen yet. Uh, we have our little storage, or really our utility room, and we have another bathtub. I told you it was two bathtubs. We have a third bathtub. Look at that. This these, this company is pro bathtubs, and that is that is good. Let's get this light on. Excellent. We got the light on. There we go. Pro bathtubs. When are the bathtubs going to get some type of lobbying? because the shower people are doing a great job getting rid of them. So pretty pr sizable bath bathroom for a loft area. And just check, look at the ceiling height. The ceiling height is, is adequate, it's adequate. All right, let's go check out the, the, um, the basement. Okay, um, one thing I want to show you, if you're still with me um, up to this point, let me know in the comment section what has been your favorite bedroom so far. Look at those hats. I like hats. Look at those hats. And if you're still with me and you are ready to start your real estate journey, there is a link in the description to the perfect home questionnaire. Complete that form and we'll schedule a time to meet via zoom to answer any and all of your questions look at that thing moving on the power line can we can you can you see it look at that thing look at it moving they must be doing some work on the power lines because i don't think that well you can't see it it, it, it won't zoom in anyway that was weird that was strange all right let's get let's get downstairs let's let's get downstairs all right, we're gonna go to the basement. Remember, the basement door is right by the front door. Right by the front door. All right. So we have the front door right here. Then we have we make a right, and then we go to the basement. All right, let's count these steps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, fifteen steps down to the basement. And look at the ceiling height. Come on now. Does this feel now? It. I believe that if you put a few more lights in here, you won't get that dark a feeling that you sometimes get in basement. But I, I do agree. I guess with myself, since I'm the only one here. There's, it's great to have this type of ceiling height in your basement. So as soon as you come down from the stairs, you can either go around the stairs and there's your utility room. And then we have a full bath with a shower pan. And then we have our living space. We have our living space. First foosball table we've seen in a model. And then we have our fifth and final bedroom, right? So let's work our way from left to right. So, so this is the stairs here. So let's work our way from left to right here. So we have the living space. So the living space, again, you have a nice solid walls in your basement. So you could really, your imagination will have to dictate exactly how you use the space. I think that the interior designer did a great job of showing us what could be done, right? It's always great to have like some type of game in the basement here. I feel like that that's what basements are for and then we have our fifth and final bedroom fifth and final bedroom does come with a closet and you have an egress window here look at the size of this room this is probably the second largest room in this property outside of the owner's suite so you have a little seating sitting area right there you have a nice tv wall right here if you're a tv person in your bedroom you have sizable nightstands that you could put flank in the bed. You could put a larger bed in this space. And look, we have our first full length mirror. We were just talking about those upstairs, right? 
what is this? What is this? this is artwork? Interesting. 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 All right, and let's go check out this closet here. Yeah, so double door closet system. And next up on our tour is the bath. Let's go check out this this bath in the basement. All right. And we have the utility room with those scary looking doors, right? This, this, these doors just being all lined up like this, just they look like they're, they're like puppets or something like that. We have our hot water heater, we have our HVAC system. We have, we have a little bit of storage here. So they got a little storage space underneath the stairs right here as well. Yeah, so you do have a little storage here. You have storage in the garage, storage and a little storage in your basement as well. So that's it. Let me know what you think about this property in the comment section. I appreciate you spending time with me on this tour. We have more tours for you. We're actually gonna go see the, the townhouse across the street in the next video. Stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, real estate questions, you can post them in the comment section. Or if you're ready to start your real estate journey, there's a link in the description to the Perfect Home Questionnaire. Complete that link and we will schedule a time to meet via Zoom to answer any and all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.